Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Um, in this tutorial, we'll be learning how to do this uh, fabulous looking weave right here. Um, the original design was created by Jason from Lake Bros Paracord. And so shout out for him, to him to for giving me a design. I did modify it just a little bit. Um, uh, if you go check out uh, his channel though, um, he has some great quality paracord uh, projects. And yeah, so anyway, on to this braid. Uh, this is the back side of it. Uh, this is how it looks on the back. This is the front. Uh, it is a fairly thick braid, so uh, whatever size uh, arm length or wrist uh, size you have, uh, you might want to increase it by about an inch or so, is what I did. Like, as you can see, mine, uh, my wrist size is like a, probably nine inches or so. I increased it just about an inch or so uh, more than the than my average wrist size so anyway uh now um this one does take a little bit of time it's a bit tedious but uh, if you work through that it is it's worth it i guess and this is how i have decided to finish it um i brought all of these uh um, cords back and cinched it right at the end. Um, the white one, it ended off right here, but I decided to leave a little bit of slack and pull it tightly towards the end. Um, and so it's, even if it does come undone for you guys, uh, it'll be easy for you to, uh, put it back together. So, I'll get into that later into the video, but just make sure you leave a little bit of slack so you could uh, cinch it over to the edges right here. And so that is the braid. So now time to get on with the tutorial. All right, guys. So for this tutorial, I have my four strand core set up, as you can see right here. And I have my two, my main color, which is the burgundy and an accent color, uh, which will also go well with the black, which is the white. And so I have these uh, just fed through the half hitches up here. Does not matter which side uh, it's on as long as they are all coming from the same side. Um, so anyway, uh, onto the weave. I will be starting from the left side and I'm going to go over these first three cord, uh, cords right here with the black. So I'm going to go underneath and then over the last one, just like that. Then I'm going to take the second black strand and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go underneath and over the last one. So now you have these two loops on each side. All right. Then I'm going to take my uh, main colored strand and I'm going to go right down the middle right here. All right, and what you want to do is go through this loop right here. So you don't want to go outside, but you want to go underneath and through this loop. All right, God dang it, all right. Just make sure your Cord, your uh, paracord does not get tangled up. If so, just uh, untangle it. You could always pause the video 
at any time if you want to and play it back if you uh, miss something. So now you want to do the same thing with the second strand. Go right down the middle and go through this loop. Then pull all your cord through. All right. So there we go. Now don't cinch this up yet. There is still one more task we need to do before we close it up. So now you're going to go, I'm going to take my main color strand on the left. We're going to go over these two through this right here. And we're going to go underneath this strand right here. So we're going to go through like this. All right. Just going to pull the rest of it through. Just like that. Now we're going to do the same thing with the other strand. So just make sure you have it out just like that. It's a little bit hard to do this uh, while looking through the camera. There we go. So now we're going to cinch this up. Just make sure it's really tight. You pull it all the way to the top. Just like that. So the first weave should look something like that. Um, I just have to pause the video because um, it was a little hard to look through the camera while doing this, but I just cinched it up. I didn't do anything extra, um, but it was a little finicky at first. That's just because uh, the first weave always is, um, but anyway, now to continue, we're going to take our accent strands and we're going to go underneath this black strand right here and we will go over this first strand just like that okay. all right just like that just pull it all through and then you want to make sure you go over this one like that then just want to cinch it up make sure it's nice and tight and then you're going to do the exact same thing with your right strand go over all right so now we are at the end of this and i'm going to show you how, guys how to finish it off so as you can see i left a little all bit of space through. here and with that i'm gonna you're gonna make sure another accent go uh over not this loop just one more on each side just to just to finish it off just like that and get all the space and uh, make sure you have it nice and tight possible mm -hmm. anyway just like might uh, be a little hard at first tighten it up but and now um what I like to do to finish make sure these, you push it up uh, and to make it look get nice it and as tight as possible I'm just gonna push this uh, black strand right through the middle just like just that. like that all right just gonna and so you just want to continue that pattern right all the, the way down uh, until you so reach then you'll the still end see the white right here and and then and I will somewhat show you how to do the end but first I will you can do the same uh, thing with the other show one. you one or two more times how to do this and you right. could always replay the video 
uh, to see it again. Pull it through. So let's start from the beginning. You're going to take the left strand and go under these like that. Three. All right. And go over the last the same one. thing with my main color. And do the strand. same thing with the the Just left like the right strand. That you're gonna go under three over one. Take your red strand or main color strand, I should say. You may not all be using thing red with the other through side. the middle. If you can't get this in here, um, and try using out a fit as well. The loop. Um, I don't need one as of the moment, but just fits like do uh, definitely help in getting uh, paracord into these tight places. So make sure your um, rope does not nice get to use some tools. Knot it up. All right. Not a ro so not like rope are never good for stuff right a there. good uh, You can wrap it a couple more times just to fill up these gaps. Through but the that's middle. probably what I'm going to be doing. And I'm just going to wrap the red or probably the, the white in one more time just to finish it off. And so there we go. All right. And with the accent thing, you could probably, with the accent color, you could probably just do the knot itself. All right. Just like that. Yeah. And then you want to do the same thing. Take your left strand. The other go side. Go over both of these ropes. Just like that. Just start fidgeting with it. And go uh, through there this. We go. Like that. Knot it up. I'm just holding the parts I am pulling through because, as you can right. see, so my rope is a little bit knotted. Unclip and this uh, twisted up, jig. so it's a little bit harder for me to uh, pull it through. So now you want to do the same thing with the other one. Now we have these. Oops. So now we have these strands coming out from here. And so what you're going to do is just snip it through. Right there, you're just going to cinch it. And I will do that right now. Alright. Alright. So now just cinch it. Uh, you can use a knife as well to the top. I'm just using scissors because uh, my scissors are a bit easier to use. So. Just gonna cut, leave a little bit of slack left over, just uh, so you could cinch it over to the sides. All right, it's just a little bit harder for me. So now I'm gonna start off with this red one right here, it's burgundy. All right. Okay. So now that we have that cinched right. up, um, uh, we're going to take so the white, uh, we're going to go gonna, under this black uh, board this. right here, we're going to melt it to um, this side, over this one left str black strand, we're going to go through this loop, got my pliers here to help me out with it, and pull it all through, I'm just going to finish it just like that. Then you just want to tighten it up Camera as much as possible. There. So that's how it'll be finished. Just like that.